Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I've got another two minute Tuesday lined up for you. Today we're gonna be using Fog Convolver by Audio Thing to make custom reverb sounds or reverb out of custom sounds. And you can get some really interesting th results from this. This is a convolution reverb, which means it uses impulse responses to create reverb tails. And usually the more standard approach is just to go to a large building, for example, and just make a clap. You do that inside of an area and record it with a high quality microphone, just that clap and then everything else is the reverb. You take that file, you drop it into a convolution reverb, and then you have an accurate representation of the reverb characteristics of any given space. However, with convolution reverb units, you can drop any audio files in here and get really interesting results. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and use some birds chirping to get some really interesting reverb for this piano sound. So this is what I have right now. All right, so you can hear the reverb there, and the reverb is actually being generated by this impulse response, which is actually aluminum foil. And I can actually play the original file right here. So it's giving me a really grainy reverb. So if you come into spaces, you can actually get things like corridor reverb, dressing room. Uh, let's get something a little bit bigger. So that's a little bit bigger there much bigger there. So this would kind of be your standard reverb, but what we can do is drop our own sample in here, anything we want. And I'm just gonna be using this kind of Foley atmosphere close birds right here. I'm gonna drag and drop it in here. All we need to do now is just kind of tweak things out. So I find the best thing to do is pull down the dry, pull up the wet, just so we can focus on what it is. And right now the file is way too long. If I play this, it's way too long. So what I wanna do is take the end point and drag it way over, even more. So that's pretty good, but we can also fade it out right here and we can adjust that output curve so it kind of fades out nicely over time. And we can adjust the high pass, so we can get rid of the, the wind and just have the birds chirping. And let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. So isn't that cool? So you can hear the reverb being generated and you could also hear those birds chirping kind of lightly in the background, which I think is absolutely incredible. So what we can do now is turn the dry back up. So it sounds really pleasant. It's a really nice reverb that we've just made out of birds chirping, right? If we wanna make it longer, we can just adjust the end time here. We can adjust the fade out. If we want to use some of that wind noise, we can pull off on the high pass filter. So you can see there, when I get down too far, it actually starts building up and getting really unpleasant. So I suggest for something like this to leave it up fairly high. And boom, we've got a really pleasant reverb that is completely unique to us. And you can do this with anything, any sort of organic sound, sounds that you record yourself, or even like your hallway, you can go out and record, just make a, you know, clap your hands and record the reverb tail and then drop that file in. And you've got a reverb of the hallway of your apartment building or something. So super great plugin, really easy to use. 
I just wanted to share with you how to get that really quick and easy, nice sounding, unique reverb using this plugin. Anyway, that's Two Minute Tuesdays. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next Tuesday.